spiritual power. What is it? It is the power to manipulate the elements at will, just by a very thought. The power comes from on high, power directly from the Supreme Source. And that source is Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Alright, Shalom, 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 all praises, honor, and glory. It goes to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakradash. Double honors to the apostles, double honors to the elders of Great Millstone. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, bracket thumb to the hopeful elect. Shalom, Shalom. In uh, today's video, you know, I really just uh, want to speak on, you know, this past week in general, you know, including last night, you know, some very spiritual things happened, you know, last night with brothers. Um, but, you know, it, it all just leads up, you know, to a, a week of death. You know, that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is bringing upon people that's close to us. Uh, you know, going back to last week, you know, one of my co-workers, their, their father had died. And so, you know, a lot of people were like, you know, feeling sad for the person and whatnot. And then when everybody came back on Monday, they found out another person in the office, uh, father actually died too, man. And uh, this ain't this ain't like a, a, a very big office that I work in. So, you know, two people, <laughs> two people out of like 30 people in the office, they father both died the same weekend. You know, that's the how about Shimei Shah's you know, sending the sign. And that's how I really seen it, you know, because outside of, you know, being in the office and working what I have to do to get my daily bread. Hey, we occupied in the work of the Lord, which means we actually wish death upon a lot of these people throughout the week. <laughs> it's part of your job as uh, the prophet. And so when, when the Lord dropped those two bodies, you know, it was a sign that the things that we say are coming to pass and we have to prepare for that because the death next time, you know, we experience death. It may be uh, our our own loved ones, you know, but how about Shema Asha is really about to start cleaning up this earth. Um, But going into uh, last night, you know, brothers, brothers was relaxing, you know, last night, you know, nothing, nothing too crazy. Um, but then these three chicks come by. It was it was two nigger women and a, and an Edomite woman, right? And so brothers know me, you know, nigger woman is not my uh, flavor of choice. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I was, you know, me me and the brother, we wasn't really uh, paying them no mind. We was kind of in our own zone vibing, and then. The two, the two nigger women come up to me and her friend says, you know, my friend really wants to talk to you, which, you know, these black women are so down bad, you know, they really having to uh, play fake humble, you know, because if this, if this was any other situation, you know, they going to, they going to stand up there with attitude. But now they trying to, you know, come to Jake and approach Jake because being honest, we was in a room full of uh, good looking white women. And we was looking at everything, okay? We was looking at everything on the menu. But these nigga women wanted attention, right? So they come up to me talking about, uh, you know, my friend really wants to talk to you. And so I start talking to Shorty and whatnot, and the other friend walks away. And she was like, yeah, you know, I you know, saw you over there, whoop de woo whoop de woo But then she asked me, she was like, you really, you really give off the type that you like white women, right? And I say, you know what? I ain't gonna lie, I do. You know, this, this, this all got a, a spiritual, spiritual uh, meaning to the story. I just, I, I just gotta set it up, man. <laughs> so, I was, so yeah, we, I, I get to tell this chick, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm in, I'm, I'm into the snow and whatnot. And here go this, this nigga woman talking about some. You let me know who you want, and I'll go, I'll, I'll go talk to her for you. Which this type of behavior I've never experienced from a black woman ever in my life. You know, because really looking at it spiritually, that's supposed to be the way, you know, your main chick operates with you because your main chick, she already know what you like. So she's supposed to be out there, go getting other women for you. Right. And so. 
she telling me that obviously we in the show me state, you know, don't don't tell nobody from Missouri something that you're not actually going to do because we're going to put that theory to test. Right. So <laughs> she said, let me know which ones you want and I'll, I'll go. I'll go talk to him. And I'm I'm thinking this bitch ain't serious. So I'm I'm just picking out random white shorties in this spot. And this this black one was going over there trying to talk to him for me. You know, she wasn't she wasn't hitting her nothing because obviously, you know, you got a black woman coming up to you in an all white club. <laughs> Try to put you up with a black man that look a little suspect. But the fact that this this bitch really had the nerves, you know, really tried to play that fake humble, you know, that fake that fake in order spirit, you know, to, to try to appease Jake was wild. And these these are the type of things that we're going to be experiencing. And Jacob's trouble, you know, women are going to come with that fake deceptive. They're going to come with that fake, uh, fake in order spirit. If you know what I'm saying, <laughs> having that fake in order spirit, but really trying to, you know, get something for yourself. You know, these, these are things we're going to have to experience, man. But the Lord is showing that in all things that he's, he's going to put, he's going to put things back in order for his men. You know, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is about to put things back in order for the Israelite man. You know, that shows, you know, with, with, with a lot of death coming through. And obviously, hey, the Lord, as, as I uh, did in the video earlier, the Lord is going to fix the relationships between uh, men and women. You know, let me get some precepts. Okay, Kyron, let's pick it up here at Zechariah chapter 12, verses 5. It says, and the governors of Judah shall say in their heart, the inhabitants of Jerusalem shall be my strength in the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Shah of hosts their power. In that day, will I make the governors of Judah like a heath of fire among the wood and like a torch of fire in a sheaf. They shall devour all people round about on the right hand and on the left. So the Lord is, is literally going to make his own people a superpower. <laughs> you understand? He's going to literally make us a superpower with, you know, the way he, he's going to bless us with those new bodies and those abilities. But also currently we have this wisdom, man. <laughs> The wisdom that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai blessed us with, Lord willing, he keeps it on us to the end, already puts you in a uh, kingly like mind. You see, so these people have nothing. Uh, they're, eventually, they're going to have no other option but to respect it. That's why the fucking nigga woman was, was trying to play humble last night. You know, and ultimately, when, when Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai starts killing our enemies, then we're going to get the respect of the ones we know personally. Because, you know, the people that, that died in my job, you, yeah, you could say they're close to me just because I'm around them, but I don't really know them, man. We have a whole list of enemies out there that we pray to how about Shemal Shah to get for us. But it say, uh, Zechariah chapter 12, verse 6, it say, In that day will I make the governors of Judah like a heath of fire among the wood, like a torch of fire in a sheaf. They shall devour all the people round about on the right hand and on the left. And Jerusalem shall be inhabited again in her own place, even in Jerusalem. The Lord Yahweh Bashim Shah also shall save the tent of Judah first, that the glory of the house of David and the glory of the inhabitants of Jerusalem do not magn magnify themselves against Judah. In that day shall the Lord Yahweh Bashim Shah defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem, right? And right now we're we're being defended from those death angels that are active in the world, man. You know, because Yahweh Bashim Shah really has some evil spirits out here, man. You know, that's why you know we had uh we had cut on the camera for like you know five minutes. You know, we did a little quick quick video uh, last night just because you you could feel that uh, dark demonic energy. You see what I'm saying? And actually, last night, uh, one of them uh, bike life niggas, you know, them niggas that be riding the fucking uh, dirt bikes and shit through the city, they they got killed last night, man. You see what I'm saying? 
the same time we was, you know, doing a video rebuking these people and saying that mass death is going to come. One of them uh, bike life niggas got got killed, man. Ran in, ran himself into a pole in downtown Kansas City, probably like five minutes from away from we live, man. You see, yeah, how about Shimao Shai is very real. It's very real. And he's about to get very active more, man. Let's read it again. Zechariah chapter 12, verse 8. In that day, shall the Lord, Yahweh Bashim al Shai, defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And he that is feeble among them at that day shall be as David. And the house of David shall be as the Most High, as the angel of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim al Shai, before them, man. But say, he that is feeble shall be as David. And the Lord sh uh, showed a lot of favor to King David, man. King David was able to have his women in order. He was able to have his enemies in subjection. And these are the blessings that Yahweh Bashim al Shai is going to give to his elect. Even, even the feeble brothers, man. You know, you know, brothers that ain't. You know, because, you know, when you come into the truth, you ain't really got your man body and shit. You know, brothers, the young brothers that ain't, that ain't really got their muscles built up and shit. Those 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 young men are going to be as David, the scriptures say, man. Zechariah chapter 12, verse 8. In that day shall the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yashai defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And he that is feeble among them at that day shall be as David. And the house of David shall be as the most high, as the angel of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh before them. And it shall come to pass in that day that I will seek to destroy all nations that come against Jerusalem, man. What, what, what type of loss do you see in that scripture? You see, because the Lord is, is really going to upgrade upgrade us to a completely different lifestyle you know i was just talking with the brother last night about that man because he was talking about you know the kingdom and chariots i told him like the kingdom is really going to be a complete change to your lifestyle man how you how you travel you know what you eat how you interact with people is going to be completely different you know because we're you know right now we got to take the load of some people you know we got to use wisdom around certain people and whatnot but now it's getting to the point where Everybody, everybody looks at a elect man and they're going to have fear and respect, not only for that man, but for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. And that's, and that's what the Lord wants. You know, when people see an Israelite man, they supposed to, they supposed to get their act right, man. <laughs> but, uh, you know, this was just a quick lesson. I just wanted to speak, speak on a, a few events, you know, this week, uh, Lord willing, the video edifying all praises, honor and glory. It goes Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem Kakudash. Double honor to the apostles, double honor to the elders of Great Millstone. Yahweh by Shimia Shai, break a thumb to the whole full act. Shalom, shalom.